Hello. Hi, class. Hello, good evening. Good evening to you. How are you today? How is it going? Good evening, teacher. How are good you? Good evening. I'm fine. How about you? Fine, thank you. And you? You're fine? Great. What yeah, are, what pretty are some good. other expressions? Um, pretty good. Otras expresiones que podamos utilizar. Instead of saying fine, I'm fine. I'm pretty good today. I'm happy. I'm happy today. Okay. I'm great. I'm great. Mm -hmm. I'm sad. You know, I'm hungry. Fantastic. Okay. I'm fantastic, right? I feel terrific today. I yes. feel. I feel. I feel. Eso lo vimos en el curso anterior. I feel terrific today. I feel happy today. Mm -hmm. So, también ocupamos... How do, you, how do you say, <coughs> acabo de terminar de cocinar? <laughs> I just finished. I just, I just cabo. Cook. Just finished cook, to cook, uh, cooking. Mm -hmm. That's it. Right. So, let me see. Pre-intermedia uno. Here we go. So, what class is this one? Is this class number one? Is this class number two? Number three. Class number? It's number three. three. Great. Class number three. And yesterday, what was the topic from yesterday? Do you remember? ¿Qué tema vimos ayer? Uh, the possessive uh, statement adjective. with the possessive adjective. What else? ¿Qué más vimos? Solo eso, ¿verdad? WH questions. WH questions with, questions with B. With verb to be. WH mm -hmm. questions with the verb to be. Mm -hmm. So, we are going to start making a short review, a quick review about the WH words or WH questions with verb to be. So let me see, let me show you the topics for today. This is class number three. Oh, teacher, ayer no envió la captura de los otros, the other WH question. Yeah, I didn't, because we didn't finish. Porque no terminamos, por eso no compartí. Ah, okay. No genera confusión, yeah, that's why. So, okay, thank you. No, thanks to you. I see your always paying attention to the class and that's great so let me show you this is the topic from today no mando los listados que dijo teacher section number two which one eso le está diciendo cesar ya un rato lo va a enviar yeah it was the picture right so remember um well this is not section number two this is section number three WH words or WH questions. Um, Section number two. Yeah. Yes, it's not true. And this is class number three. Ayer empezamos con este tema. So today we are going to finish, right? Because we were practicing on how to make questions. Pero no respondimos o no sabemos cómo dar respuesta. So let's go to section number. It's not section two, it's section three. Section one and two. Vamos por la dos ahorita. Sí, ya nos pasamos a la dos. So, section number two. That's okay. Remember that for this week, we have section one and section number two. Here we go. So, how many students do I have? 19. Aún me faltan algunos. I only have 19 students. Good evening. Hi, good evening. So I'm going to check the attendance list in a moment. So here we go. Section number two. Hasta nos agarra la tarde, teacher. No nos dejan entrar antes. Qué barbaridad. I don't know. <laughs> Ayer nos dieron ya la respuesta, okay? So look, here we have some examples. Using the simple present and WH questions and a statement. But let me see. Uh, 
Let's go back. Mm -hmm. Previous topic. No, we haven't. Don't worry, don't worry. Voy a la sección 1. Era ese, look. Ese era nuestro último tema, right? Questions. Pero no terminamos con las yes, no questions and short answers. So don't worry, you know. This is a very similar topic as the first topic in section number two, right? So yes, no questions and short answers. Let's watch this video first so we can proceed to continue with section number two. Here we go. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to make yes, no questions and give short answers with B. Yes, no questions and short answers with B. Okay. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Take a look at the questions in the chart again. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't. See the structure of the questions. B plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Keep in mind the verb be will depend on the subject we're talking about. Also, when answering an affirmative, you have to always say yes, he is, yes, we are, yes, you are. Your answer should not be just yes. You do the same with negative answers. When your answer is no, you have to answer by saying no, he's not, or no, he isn't. No, they're not, or no, they aren't. Okay, let me make a quick review about the instructions or the explanation that she is giving is us. So if you see yesterday, we were practicing making questions. What type of questions? WH words, it's statements, right? But de ayer empezaban con una WH word. Okay, for example, what's her name? Miren, empieza con una WH word, right? And in this case, I need to get a specific information. Respuestas completas y largas. What's her name? Her name is Susan. Miren. ¿Será que podemos responder las WH questions con un yes or no? ¿Mm? No, I can't. No, no ¿verdad? No, What's her can't. name? Yes. What's his name? No. No podemos. So, for WH questions or WH statements with the verb to be, we need to have complete sentences, complete information, right? Esa es la diferencia. Ambas están hechas con el verbo to be. Look, what is her name? Where are they from? Podemos responder where are they from con un yes y con un no. Where are they from? Yes. No, it doesn't exist. Where is she from? No. So, that is the difference. Es otro tipo de preguntas en inglés. But look, now we have this type of statements, interrogative statements, using the verb to be. 
and the verb to be for the simple present remember that is am is and are and it depends on the subject the form of the verb to be that I am going to use depende del sujeto que tenga esa es la forma del verb to be that I need to use ok voy explicando paso por paso ok, depende del de sujeto es la forma del verbo to be que voy a usar look, are you are you free this is a personal question are you free yeah. yes I am affirmative mm, no I'm not negative are you free? Yes, I am. No, I am not. How about number two? Uh, Edwin, can you help me out to read? Puede ayudarme a leer, Edwin? The second example, please. Okay, don't worry. Oh, okay, there you go. I guess your microphone is having problems. Is David from Mexico? Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. Negative? In negative, how do we express that? No, he's not, or? Leamos toda la respuesta, afirmativa y negativa, ¿ok? No, no, Ok, please, Fernando, can you help me out with number two? ¿Completa? Yeah, please. Ok. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he is not. No, he isn't. Great job. Is David from Mexico? Affirmative, yes, he is. Or yes, David is. Mm, no, he's not. No, he isn't. You see? Let's have this other example. Let me see. Brian, can you please read this example? Brian Isaac. Este... El tren me dijo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes. Ya se lo digo. Is bed class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Thank you. So, is this question asking about bed or about the class? ¿De quién me está preguntando? ¿Sobre bed o de la clase de bed? About the class. About the class. So, sobre, la clase. sobre la clase. That's why I'm using it. Because we're talking about a class. You know? It's not a person. So, yes, it is for affirmative and for negative. No, it's not. Or no, it isn't. Okay? Let me see. Jessica Janet, can you continue, please? With this example. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Okay, so are you this example? It's including you and another girl. Si no se incluye, recordemos, vamos a usar they or we. Day. Sí, sí. Si uh -huh. Pero me están day. incluyendo, me están incluyendo. Are you we, and Beth in the same we, class? We. Yes, we yes, are. We. Okay. So be careful with that. Siempre identifiquemos antes el sujeto para saber qué voy a responder. So are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, 
we are. Teacher, ¿Qué te mil pregunto? Disculpas, se me, se uh -huh. me quedó la, me salió de la plataforma, ya no le pude contestar, lo siento. Oh, don't worry, si sí, eso me fijé, desapareció de repente. What happened? <laughs> so, what if I ask like this? Are David and Beth in the same class? ¿Cómo respondo eso? Yes, they, yes, are. they, are. they are. Yes, we are they or are. yes, they are? They yes, are. They are. They. But why? They are. Porque uso they y no uso we. Porque no me Porque están incluyendo. No Porque es ellos. Porque son ellos. ellos. Exactly. So, be careful with y no that. somos nosotros. Mm -hmm. Because you are not David and you are not Beth. That's why we are going to say they. As in the last example. Cesar, please, read the last one. I gym classes in Thursday. Mm -hmm. Thursday. Yes, they are. No, they not. No, they aren't. Okay. So... What is the subject in this question? No. ¿Cuál es el sujeto en esta pregunta? Are your classes interesting? Classes. ¿Por qué no estoy respondiendo con yes, it is? Why? Plural. ¿Qué estoy hablando de una clase? Plural. Clases. Plural. Más clases son varias Pero clases. Pero estoy hablando de un objeto, de algo, de una clase. Why? Because this in plural. plural, exactly. Cuando ya tengo plural y no importa si es un objeto, un lugar, siempre se va a convertir en they. So, what if right. I ask like this one? Is your class yes. interesting? Is your yes, class interesting? ¿Cómo respondería? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it, is. Yes, it, is. yes it is. Exactly. Yes, it is or no, it is not. Or no, it isn't. Because it's only one class. Whenever we have singular, we are going to use it. But if I have plural and I am talking about a place or an object, I am going to use the pronoun they. Questions about Hello. this exercise. Preguntas sobre este ejercicio. Yes? No? no Is it clear? No questions. So, the first thing that I need to do. Le dije. Repito otra vez. Depende del sujeto que tenga. Es la yes. forma del verb to be. Primer paso. It depends on the subject that I have, the use of or the, the, the verb to be that, that I'm going to use. Right. Primero, no olvidemos eso. Second, you need to learn to identify. Identify, please. Siempre es necesario que identifiquen ¿Quién es el sujeto de mi oración? ¿No? ¿Para qué me sirve? Why? Why do I need to identify? Why is it necessary to identify the subject of the question? Why? Why is it necessary? Para identificar la forma del verbo to be que vamos a usar. ¿Y para qué más? Para poder responder. Exactly. Para eso necesito identificar el sujeto. Para la forma del verb to be que voy a usar y no solo para eso. To make an statement in an affirmative or negative way. Right? Depende de eso, yo voy a responder. Because remember, most of the time, whenever we give up, a, a response or we have an answer, we are going to use pronouns. 
siempre usamos, miren, o es bien común usar los pronombres en lugar del nombre de la persona. Yes, I am. Yes, he is. Yes, it is. Ok. So, it depends on that. So, questions about this topic or can we go to the practice? Vamos a la práctica ya. Yes? No? All right. All right. Okay. Teacher. Okay, teacher. I'm not afraid, teacher. Mm -hmm. Bring those examples, please. That's the attitude. We so, are ready, teacher. We are ready, teacher. We are always ready, right? That's the attitude. Esa es la actitud. But before, I'm going to check the attendance list. Okay? Here we go. Let me okay. look for my... Remember that for this week, we need to complete section number one and section number two. Oh, Let's do. John... Junio 8, ¿verdad? Here we go. Aleli. I hear teacher. Ana Gabriela. No. Ana Karina. Ana Present. Stephanie. Okay. I have three Anas. Present. Wow. Andrea Isabel. Brian. Hi. Oh, okay. Let me see. Brian Edwin. Present teacher. Brian Isaac. Present. Carlos Eden. Present here. Cesar Alexander. Present teacher. Cristelia Rosalina. Daisy Magdalena. Right, Edgardo Antonio. I'm here, teacher. Eduardo Elias. Present, Edwin Ernesto. Yes, Edwin. Ah, Present, there Elvis Aníbal. Present. Emerson Alexander. Present. Esperanza Isabel. Fátima Esmeralda. Present teacher. Fernando Arturo. Present. What happened to you yesterday, Fernando? You were not in my class. No podía entrar. Me... Ah. No sé qué pasaba. Tenía serios problemas ahí. Okay, don't worry. Casi pierdo la paciencia. Okay, so now. <laughs> Gabriela Lizette, no, don't give us uh, details, please. Gabriela Lizette. Here, Miss. Here, Miss. Right. Gladys Elizabeth. Present teacher. Glenda Abigail. Present teacher. Iris Elena. Here, Miss. Irma Raquel. Present. Isabel Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jasmine Yvonne. Present teacher. Jeremías Ezequiel. Present teacher. And Jessica Janet. Present teacher. Okay. So, wow. You have a great attendance, you know. Estamos muy bien con la asistencia. Here we go. So, as I mentioned before, let's go to practice. So, I have an exercise for you today. So, you can do the same. You are going to identify, in this case, the yes, no questions. And let me see. Where is it? It's right here. Okay, let me show you this exercise. This is the one for today. What do you need to do? You are going to get together with your classmates. Look, and you are going to use 
short answers to answer the yes, no questions. So look, do not use contractions with short answers with yes. For example, are you from Mexico? Yes, I am. We never are going to say, yes, I am. Con las respuestas cortas, afirmativas, we are not going to use contractions. So don't forget that. What do I have here? Look, I have some conversations. How many conversations do I have? Six different conversations between A and B. The first one, letter A, it is going to be a question and letter B is going to be the answer. Question and answer, question and answer, and so on, right? So you are going to create or complete the conversation. Six different conversations. That is this exercise for today's class. Está claro lo que vamos a hacer, is it clear? Yes, teacher, is clear. Yes. Make questions and then answer using yes or no. So let me go okay. to WhatsApp. Let me see. Where is your group? Aquí está. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go and check the picture so you can work with your classmates. Here we go. Five minutes. Five minutes to complete this one. Here we go. Okay, Gladys, Ana Gabriela, and Brian. Go with your classmates, please. Okay. No, they are not. Sí, no, they, they are not. They are in English too. So, hi, um, are you in this class? So, let it be, yes, I am, I'm a new student here. Sí. Hi, sería, are you, verdad? Yes. La pregunta. Are you, yes. Are you in this class? Yes, I am. So yes, number three. Are you from the United States? No, no, where? we are not. No, no we're not. Que es we, we. Entonces. O sea, pero es que la, sería raro que dijera somos nosotros de Estados Unidos. Que sería are, no sería, you, are you are eh, you que es una forma plural que sería como ustedes. Bueno, ustedes. Así es como así por ejemplo, pues, you también como ustedes es cierto. Ajá. Bueno, así es como lo estoy entendiendo para mí también puede ser este. Are we from the United States? No, no es are not. you Porque el you lo ocupas para tú y para ustedes. Ustedes. Uh -huh. No, we're not. No. We're from Calgary, Canada. Hi, Monica. 
Are you free? No, I'm not. I'm on my way to class. So. Es tú, con era el tour eh, de posesivo, con era al final. Y you mm -hmm. es de pronombre, de tú o ustedes. De ustedes, ¿verdad? Are you from? Uh-huh. Are you from? The United States. Esa es la que no te dura en el, en el ejercicio 1.2. No. No, we are. No, we are. We are. We are. No, we are. We are. We are from Calgary, Canada. Okay. La Packer. Hi, Monica. Are you free? Are you free? Uh, are you free? Then? Are you free? No, I am not. No, I am not. Sí, creo que sí. En un. Hi, teacher. Sería, hi, Monica. Are you free, correcto, verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. sí. Are you free? And the answer is no. Ajá, uh -huh. si sí, la respuesta es sí, no, I not. I'm not. I'm on my way to class. Uh -huh. No, I'm not. Sí. No. La siguiente, la cinco, Don Brian. Eh, como está hablando de tercera persona, sería, is he from Paraguay? It's he. Is is he? Is he? Excellent. Pero como la, eh, el literal B es negativo, sería no he isn't. Digo la respuesta. He is. Is is he? Dijo, ¿verdad? Is he? He. From Paraguay. La respuesta dijo no. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. He's from Uruguay. ¿Qué tal? Veamos la última, dice, from Indonesia. Are you from Indonesia? Sería la Ah, no, aquí está hablando de ella. Dice. Ajá, sería. Sí. Sí, tiene razón. Ajá. It's. It's. It sería. It's she. From Indonesia. Ajá. Y la respuesta sería. Yes. She is. Yeah. She is from a car. Finish the trip. Ahí estamos. Sería yes. She is. Uh -huh. Y de ahí lo que continúa. She is from. Hi, Ana Gabriela. Did you have problems? Okay, let's wait for your classmates.
hotel. Did you finish? We finished, teacher. Great. So yes. it's time to check this exercise. Remember the steps that you need to follow. Identify who is the subject in the sentence because it depends on that. And that is the correct form of the verb to be that I'm going to use and also the answer that I'm going to use as well. So let's see, let's go and check these answers. Six different exercises or conversations. Let me have for the first ones, Eduardo. Eduardo, let's see, we already have the question. What is the answer? Are they in your class? No, they are not. Okay, wait, let me listen to Eduardo first. Eduardo. Sorry, sorry. How many yes, Eduardos do I have? No. Mr. Fajardo. Let me see. Fernando parece como una voz de la conciencia. De la conciencia. Pórtense <laughs> bien. Sí, <laughs> Eduardo Elías. Sí, es Eduardo Elías. So, hey, you know, I yes, have sir. so many cameras off today. Teacher. Eh, solo quer yes. eh, quería comentarle que Andrea Siu es nueva en, en el curso, hasta ahora entró y nunca había tomado un curso con inglés corporativo. Really? Yes. Ok, so, yes, um, I'm, going, I'm going to give some instructions at the end of the class, right? I can give it. So, let's check right now. Andrea, welcome. Primer eh, indicación, escribamos el nombre completo, please. I have so many students with the incomplete name. So that's the first one. So let's see what do we have today. First one, who I ask to complete this one? Eduardo, right? Let me have you. Yes. Go, please. Number one, are they in the class? Mm -hmm. Are they no, in your class? No. Great job. No, they aren't. This is quite easy because we have the same pronoun in the question. So, are they in, the, in your class? No, they. We can say are not or they aren't, right? No, they are not. No, they aren't. So, this is quite easy. Great job. Very good job. So let's see. Lo que no le gusta hablar en mi clase. Let me see. Mi teacher le dice no. No va a castigar entonces lo que sí hablamos. No, no es castigo, es oh. Ay, really... sí, para participación. Sí, participación. Quiero conocer su voz. Eh. Quiero conocer la voz yeah. de ustedes. Okay? No, Jeremías, no. please, number two, Jeremías. Come on, don't, don't you worry. Jeremías, please. Help me out with number okay. two, with the question. Hi. Hmm? Hi, are you in this class? Okay. Are you? Do you have the same answer or do you have a different one? Class. I have the same. You have the same. So are you in this class? So, Andrea, how do we? make the answer or the reply. Yes. Andrea, what is the question? What is the answer? Hi, are you? Yes, I class? am. Yes? Yes, I am. What do you think, class? Do you have the same or different one? Different. What is your option then? Who has a different answer? Ellis. Answer or reply. Casi siempre les pregunto con reply. Respuesta, right? Yes, Elvis. Why do you have different one? Or what is the one that you have? Porque nos están preguntando a nosotros. Okay. So are you Por in eso, class? Eh, yes, I am. Es decir, 
la persona está utilizando you porque se está refiriendo a mí, pero yo le respondo por mí, por eso cambia. En la pregunta va you, pero yo respondo con am. So, ¿cómo respondemos entonces? Are you in this class? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Ok. En Andrea, ¿qué me dice Andrea? So, he has the same, right? Andrea me dijo, yes, yeah. I am, too. También me dijo eso, ¿so? Ahí me confundí. Pregunté si alguien tiene una respuesta diferente. I, yes, I am. Or do you have the same? No, no. Tenemos lo mismo. So, you have the same. Right. Very good job. So, you see, here is the answer. Aquí tenían ya la respuesta. I am a new student here. There we go. Edgardo. Antonio, please. Question for number three. How do we complete the question? Are you from the United States? Okay. Are you, is this you for singular or for plural? This one. No, it's plural. Very good job. So are you from the United States, Irma. Continue, please. Sorry, teacher, I had a question. Please. ¿Por qué si la respuesta eh, contesta que nosotros somos de Canadá? Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué la pregunta sería, are you? No sería, are we? Who can tell him? ¿Quién le puede decir? O oh, explico yo. You teacher. Porque. Ajá. I include me. Ajá, ok. So I am include. Because. Because, because we use you in plural or singular. Ok, because look. Primera respuesta. Porque en la respuesta dice we. It means that I am include. Primera opción de respuesta. Or, as you are mentioning, we can have this option in singular and also in plural. Look, we, they, and at the end, you. You, you can use it for singular and also you can use you for plural, more than one person of or object. I can easily say, you are my student, tú eres mi estudiante para una persona, or you are my class, ustedes son mi clase. Y utilizo también you. So, that's why. Por eso es you. So, what is the question? Are you from United States? And what is the answer? El you, entonces, se usa como usted, ustedes. Ustedes. Usted y ustedes. Yes, that's okay. Irma, are you from the United States? No? Irma Raquel, ¿cómo respondemos? No. No, I not. We are from Calgary, Canada. No, we are not. No, se me equivoqué. No, we are not. We are ¿Sí? from. Yes, that's okay. No, we aren't. No, no we are I not. not. Okay. No. Está diciendo I. Está diciendo I, no. Okay, creo que aquí nos estamos confundiendo. Okay, let me switch to Spanish. Right. Les explicaba que you es para singular y también para plural. Veamos el contexto. Aquí la respuesta me indica que la estamos utilizando para plural. ¿Ok? Plural. Are you from the United States? Se está refiriendo a más de una persona. Es por eso que no puedo responder no I am not. Porque parte de mi respuesta me indica que es plural. Entonces, ¿cuál es la respuesta correcta? 
No, we're, no, we're, no, we're not. We are not. That's no. it. No, we aren't. Or we are not. Right. We are from Calgary, Canada. Right. Excellent. Ese es el análisis que tienen que hacer. Glenda, continue, please. Glenda. Hi, Monica. Are you free? Are you free? Mm -hmm. Aleli, let me participate. You. Let me participate. Let me... Para que no llore. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I am not. I am on my way to class. Okay, so no, I'm not. Miren, este you se está refiriendo a singular. ¿Por qué? Because. Aquí ya tengo la respuesta, miren. Solo hablo de Mónica. So, hi, Mónica. Are you free? No, no, I'm not. I'm on my way to class. You see? Ahí el you es para singular. <coughs> Isabel, please, continue. That's the news story that you Storen, is he from Paraguay? Okay, is he or is she? Uh, is he. Why? Uh, because uh, I told he, he is from Paraguay. There you go. Porque ya la respuesta me dice que es el he is from para Uruguay. Uruguay, right? So... Teacher, I have a question. Please. Por, ¿Y cuándo se ocupa your con er el final? Ok. Ese es un posesivo, this one. Possessive. Okay. Lo vimos el lunes, el possessive. My, what is your name? What is tu nombre? Okay? What is your last name? Your, de él o de ella. Okay? Es un posesivo. You es un pronombre que significa tú en singular o plural. That's a different. So, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Let me see um, who else. ¿Quién más? Tengo acá. Iris, Elena. Continue, please. No, he's not. He's from Uruguay. Great. No, he's not. He's from Uruguay. There we go. Carlos Eden, continue. Uh, is she from Indonesia? Is he or is she? She. Why? Because in the response. Exactly. How she is. There we go. Great. So, how do we finish the conversation, Fatima Esmeralda? Teacher, un, the question. Um, Podría ser también, are you from Indonesia? What do you think, class? Can we use, are you from Indonesia? No. No. no, no. no. Because, look, parte de mi respuesta me dice, she is from... Jakarta. Están hablando de una tercera. Hablan de alguien más, de una tercera persona, ¿no? Ok. So, Fátima, how do we finish with this one? Yes, she is. She is from Jakarta. Great. Yes, she is. She is from Jakarta. So, let's go to the final practice. Here we go. Sin ver la pantalla. Veamos. Let me have Glenda. Is she from Australia? No, she's not. No, she's no, she is Chalatenango. Really? Okay. So <laughs> is she from United States? Oh. No, she, she is. is she's from Salvador. 
Salvador. Okay. She is from El Salvador. Is Salvador. she in your class? Is she in your English class? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Okay. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. is she a teacher? Oh. No, no, she is she not. Is she not. Is not. How do you know? <laughs> she is a student. She is a student. She but is, probably she is a teacher. Ask her. Pregúntale. Is you excuse, excuse me, Anna. You are a teacher? Wait, 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 wait. You are or are you? Are you? Are you, are you, you a, a teacher? teacher? Are you a teacher? Are you a teacher? Are you a teacher? Yes. Oh. So, is she a teacher? It's affirmative. Congratulations. Hey, this is a co I didn't know, you know, this is a coincidence. So, the more possessions. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, I didn't sorry. know. Right, I didn't come on, Fernando. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me ask. <laughs> <answer. laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It is a nota when they are teachers, you know, so it's not right. My God. Oh, yes, yeah. right. We can identify. Podemos identificar la profesión. Let me ask you. This is a secret. You know? Let me ask you about this guy. Okay. That's right. Le pregunto okay. sobre él. Is he a teacher? Oh, no, Fernando, no. <laughs> Fernando, are you a How do you know? Are you no. a teacher, Fernando? Are you Qué music teacher? Qué barbaridad, Leli. <laughs> Are you singing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, right? Are you a locutor? No, it's music. How do you say locutor in English class? It's rock. Rock and roll. Right, so in English, right? Let me ask you. It's singer. It's singer. Probably, probably. We don't know, right? I don't have her, but let me ask you about... Let me see. Mm. Aquí vamos. Let me ask you about Irma. Is she a new student? Irma. Mm -hmm. No. No. She is no. No, is new. Hmm? No, is new. No, no she's not. Is she? Is she, uh -huh. is she a student? A new, uh, new the new. question is the new student. New student. No, 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 is new. No, 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 is new student. Wait, no, is not or no, she is not. No, she is not. No, she is not. No, no, she is not. not. Remember, necesito dar siempre. Yes, Irma, what is your question? Eh, por ejemplo, mm -hmm. donde what is, what is the difference between now we are not okay now we are not Lo escriba mejor la Irma, no se le entiende nada. I guess it's your internet connection. Más o menos entendí. When we are using, no, we're not. Pero si me la puede escribir, Irma, por favor. So, uh, cuando leamos eso, mire, no quiero que me den respuestas incompletas. Is she a new student? Me decían no, is not. ¿Qué le hace falta acá? No, she's no, not. No, she is not. She, she, she. she. El sujeto, no, no, yes, subject. Right? No, she is not. She is all. No, she is not. She is not. Or no, he isn't. También pueden decirlo en forma corta. No, he isn't. Right? He is not. Please, do not forget the subject. She isn't. Uh, she no, is. She isn't. Yes. She. Uh, I cannot write it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> I understand, okay. You, you got it, you got it, you know. Okay. So please, <laughs> lo que quería, que quería resaltar es no olviden el sujeto. Please do not forget about the subject. Giving us sujeto. 
We are not. In, oh, okay. What is the difference between we are not and we aren't? What is the difference? Where is it's the contraction for very We're not in contraction? And... Yes. Mm -hmm. Form and mm -hmm. we aren't. What is this one? It's short form. Short form. Short form. Short form. Short form. Or contracted. Contractar. Pero ya me mole más fácil. Short form. Short. That's it. Right? Teacher. So that's the uh, observation. Please. Mm -hmm. Ella escribió where. Y where is the el pasado del verbo to be. Where no. Se haber equivocado al escribirlo. No, but también veamos esto. We are not. Pongámoslo también, no hay problema. We aren't. So, si se refería a we are not, esto es el pasado, past of verb to be. ¿Cuál es el pasado del verbo to be? Si el presente es am, um, is, and are, ¿cuál es el pasado? Was and were. Was and was and were. were. Uh -huh. Was and were. So, también ahí está la respuesta. Okay? Was and were. So, were not. Aquí les le haría falta un sujeto. Por ejemplo, podemos usar they. They were not in my class. Si nos referíamos a eso. ¿Ok? Questions. Any other questions? I have a question. Please, Fernando. Eh... La manera, bueno, en la, en la imagen que nos compartió, uh -huh. ahí dice de que no se podía usar contractado. Entonces, pero únicamente cuando digo I am. ¿Contractado en qué no vamos a utilizar contracción, chicos? O short form. Para cuando las la oraciones la afirmativas. Afirmativa. Afirmativas. ¿Puedo decir yes, I'm? No. Yes, no, I am. Never. ¿Puedo decir yes, she's? No, she no. is, she is. O puedo decir, eh, no, we're not, o we're aren't. No, ese es negativo. Yes, we're, no. So, for the affirmative, we cannot use contraction. All right. okay? Solo en afirmativa. Only for negative. Negativo, okay. forma corta o forma completa. That's it. Okay. Any other question? Is only answer or only sentences? No, for answers. Okay, thank you. No, for affirmative sentences, of course, you can use contractions. There's no problem at all. So, do you see the difference? ¿Cuáles son los dos tipos de preguntas que puedo hacer con el simple present tense in English? Mm -hmm. Yes, and not question, and WS question. Great job. For more information. That's it. Así tienen que aprenderlo. Un aplauso grande. WH questions. ¿Para qué me sirven estas? Para obtener. For more information. More information, more details, right? Or more info. No las puedo responder con yes and no. Y si quiero responder yes and no, ¿qué voy a ocupar? ¿Le llamamos? Yes, no. Yes, no, no questions. questions. With B, con el verbo to be. Mm -hmm. Ambas son con el verbo to be. WH questions with B. And yes, no questions with B. So, do you see the difference? ¿Ven la diferencia entre mm -hmm. dos tipos de preguntas? Yes. So. I motivate you to go to the platform, watch the videos again, and also go and practice with the exercises. We have a specific exercise for these topics. So tomorrow we are going to finish with section number two. Tomorrow is the last class. And we also have a review from the topics that we just covered this week, okay? So, any other question or comment or 
can we stop the class here? Stop. Stop it, teacher. No class. more. Reason. Yeah, no more. Reason. <laughs> okay. No more. No, okay, Fernando, thank you. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. So, class, thank you so much for joining this class. Ha sido muy productiva. He visto que vamos mejorando, okay? Vamos llevándonos mucha información. So, thank you. See you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye bye. Thank good you. Night. Thank you, teacher. Have a good thank night. Good night. Thank you. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Thank, thank you. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you. Thanks to you. Bye.